Blessings and welcome to the amazing Leo Soul Travelers. How are you? You are joining Priestess Melissa here on the Nation of this Oracle. We're going to be getting into a reading for you this week all about love. We're going to be looking at the Romance Angels cards to get our main energy out and see what's going on for you, Leo. We'll tap into the Cosmic Visions Tarot and see what the truth is about this Ten of Pentacles today. Are you feeling the love for a camp or sorry for a Gemini Libra or Aquarius energy? All right, Leo, what's going on here? Ten of Pentacles. We also have Queen of Swords. Ooh, interesting. So King and Queen of Swords energy. Looks like we might have a pair going on here. And a Ten of Pentacles energy. What's going on here? We got a King and a Queen of Swords. We also have a Four of Cups. So maybe we're not feeling quite so much like we're uh, feeling like we're getting the truth about the situation kind of what I'm feeling here, you know, maybe you're seeking for more answers in a situation today, yeah, with this intuition and the high priestess energy coming out, maybe trying to figure out why you're not so happy in the current situation, all right, what is the truth behind it? And maybe that's what you're trying to understand today, Leo. All right, these are general readings, which may or may not resonate with you. If they do in any way, thank you so much for hitting the like button. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. You can watch these for your sun, moon, rising, or Venus, though I do suggest Venus since it is about relationships. Also reach out to me at venusianways.org if you need a personal reading. We have guardian angel guidance messages that we'll, we'll look into today if i can speak guys uh, to get some advice moving forward this week also lovers oracle will give us advice further advice for love and if you have that burning question do get it ready we'll flip the divination coin at the end and that's when all the good stuff comes so stick around guys Thank you so much for the angels, ancestors, way showers, and guides, romance angels. Thank you so much and show us what we need to know for the amazing Leos. Shout out Leo and thank you so very much for all of your support to the channel. I truly, truly appreciate each and every one of you. Your likes, comments, shares, and donations are truly appreciated. Let me know down in the comments how these are resonating with you. And don't forget to hit the subscribe and bell notification so you don't miss any readings. Let's see what's going on for Leo. For Leo, please. Show me what I need to know and love for Leo. Leo, what does Leo need to know in love? Codependency coming out here and let go of control issues. All right, somebody could be co codependent in this situation and needs to release control. Maybe somebody feels like, um, you know, I feel definitely yeah, express your love. Someone may be holding back and the other person may be a little more uh, clingy or just you know really trying hard to get another person to see you know what's going on here that they love them but at the same time when we're dealing with codependency you got to really be careful with that all right because it can be easy to get caught up in another person or someone with toxic energy going on now we did have this come out for another sign it seems like we're having some similar energies coming out for different signs today so we're going to go with it and see what this codependency energy is so somebody is definitely holding back in this situation all right someone needs to let go and allow their emotions to flow is what it feels like today but there could be something holding that back like the fact that somebody could be you know on drugs you know codependency can come in different forms this card answers your question in perhaps a surprising way because addictions are the culprit behind the issues you're attempting to resolve. This could be your own craving for a substance or unhealthful behavior, or it could be that your partner's addictions are impacting your love life. 
This card is also an indicator of childhood experiences in an addictive family. Additions, addictions numb the heart to pain, but they also diminish its capacity to love. So it's like, you know, it helps us to be able to subdue all the things that are hard for us to deal with, right? And maybe love is something that's hard for you or someone else to express because of what you've been through. It's hard to let go and just, you know, allow yourself to trust or this other person for some reason, right? Since love is the since love is the basis of your romantic partnership, addictions become a barrier to moving forward toward true emotional intimacy. This is especially true if you are twisting yourself in knots to please a person whose dependency has lessened his or her capacity for happiness. This is a no-win situation that will negatively affect your self-esteem and your own happiness if you continue. So this may be very important for you to be aware of, whether it's yourself or someone else. There's definitely some changes that need to happen as far as this trust and letting go of so much control and feeling like perhaps we can't express how we truly feel for some reason, or we're just not with the right type of partner to be able to do that with effectively. So let's see what's going on here today. Facing up to some truth of some dependency, huh? Five of cups, four of cups. So definitely unhappiness, whatever this situation is. Could be dealing with some depression as a result as well. Definitely could be a need to get some counseling of some sort. Yeah, we've got the star energy coming out here today. All around the heart energy. All around needing to heal. Right, so what is this? Let's see what's going on for you, Leo. Are you dealing with someone with addictions or codependency, or are you this person? Let me know down in the comments. This is all about Ace of Pentacles, all right? Spirit is trying to move you in a direction that's going to help you to feel like that pinnacle. The pinnacle is the five-pointed star, which indicates us, you know, this is the head, the arms, you know, and the legs, and you almost see that with that caduceus energy too, you know, like when the arms are out and the legs are out on that diagram, right? So it's all about us getting back into balance. Definitely out of sorts at this time, you may be feeling, um, dealing with a lot of battles, probably with the other person. This could be you. This could be you reaching a burnout stage as well, because that's what this card speaks of with the Four of Swords. Needing to put those battles behind us, whether it's dealing with someone else that's having these codependency or addiction issues, or whether it's ourselves and really moving to that healing process, all right? Queen of Wands energy, uh, I immediately got sex addiction with this particular card with the Queen of Wands because that does typically represent um, a mistress. King of Cups in reverse in the past. This could be a dynamic that you've seen in your relationship, right? Where things end up where, um, and maybe you were dealing with the Cancer Scorpio or Pisces energy. Um, so if this is a sex addiction, you know, it's like this person has issues with love, loving themselves, things of that nature. And that's exactly what this card was speaking of with the codependency. So we're always going to be seeking that outside of ourselves, right? Strength. You've definitely had to have a lot of strength in this situation. And that may be what you're thinking about right now. Like, do I want to continue? Do I have the strength to deal with this situation? Sun energy coming out. This is all about your happiness, and this is you, Leo. So this is about making a major choice about your happiness at this time. And if this is around a person that has addictions, and particularly sex addictions, that's a tough one to deal with. I'm just going to put that out there first and foremost. So you're really going to have to determine how you want to deal with this situation because it feels like this person, whoever you're dealing with, or just in general, that the foundation is totally off. You know, it may be affecting money. 
um, in the home and your foundation in general. Ace of Cups in reverse for the outside situation. So how you may be seeing somebody right now is that you just, I just feel like, you know, it's almost like you put so much work and effort into this. And it's like, if this person, you know, can't take care of themselves, if they can't get their shit together, basically, you know, I can't allow myself to go down with this sinking ship, if you will. And that may be exactly how you're feeling, that you are going to end up going down, you know, if you continue to deal with this situation. And that's exactly what the card did indicate as well. There is a no win with this situation. Somebody may be trying to tell you that it's going to be okay, that, you know, they're going to work on themselves. But this is a time for you to not let your boundaries down, all right? Stick to your guns. You know what's important. You know what you will and won't accept, all right? Leo, so if you are the one that is the codependent in this relationship, all right? Or maybe this would indicate with the outside energies as well with this cup that this person isn't willing to pour out, you know, and allow their heart to open up in the way that it needs to to be able to love and again if they're dealing with addictions drinking could be several addictions sex addiction you know just drinking um, but you have definitely reached a burnout stage is what this feels like this feels like or what it is indicating with your main energy is that you've really had to take some l's for this person you know what i mean so I don't know. They may be expressing their love, but they just want you to let go of control and trust them. But can you trust them right now? Maybe the thing that you're trying to determine. Inner child. This definitely is what is likely going on with the codependency energy. And if this is a dynamic that you saw and also that may be playing out um, as far as you know, from both perspectives, what you both saw, maybe once, uh, say if it's a man and their father was a womanizer, and then if you're a woman and you have seen this dynamic in your own family where your dad treated your mom this way, and you just end up finding that you're ending up in these relationships where you saw those same things growing up. Well, it's very easy to fall into that when that's what our child saw. You know, we didn't have the reason, reasoning capacity until about seven or eight years old. So, you know, we literally are going by our emotional standpoint and uh, basis, if you will, based on what we learned or saw, if you will, emotionally how we felt in all of that growing up. You know, maybe you saw that you wanted your dad to, you know, do good and do right by your mom, but that never happened. And now it's like you end up finding yourself in that same dynamic. Not saying that's exactly what's going on here, but it could be, you know, addictions again can fall in many different categories. Let me know how this is resonating with you down in the comments for sure. Inner Child says, nurture your inner child and begin to express the awesome beauty. Express your love, who you are, right? Express the awesome beauty you hold within you. We live in a world where a formula <clears throat> exists for everything. My throat chakras. <clears> throat> Maybe somebody's trying to keep you from speaking or expressing yourself. Um, hopefully there's no abuse going on there too. We live in a world where a formula exists for everything, yet love and creativity have no formula. They do not need to be studied, simply nurtured. Regularly set aside some time to just play, right? To love yourself, to reconnect with yourself. <clears throat> And also perhaps to do some <clears throat> inner child work, if you will, perhaps with a counselor. Now I do do past life regression and, um, and also for uh, age regression. If you need some help in any of those areas, <clears throat> reach out to me at happymediumhypnosis.com. We can definitely get you going in the right direction on all of that. What is coming out for love for Leo, please? 
Love advice for Leo. All right, Leo, we have this energy here coming out today that says, beware of what you are projecting. Very important right now, all right? Four, the qualities you admire in one another are also qualities you possess. Equally so, the qualities you don't like are your own reflection. So just like we were talking about, are we more or less playing out those reflections that we saw in our childhood, right? We're really going to have to look at that closely and be honest with ourselves about that. This card today says, the past is now behind you. Release it and embrace new possibilities. So perhaps releasing those past ways of doing things in relationships and, and adopting new ones that are nurturing and healthy, right? A new path is now available to you. Follow it with faith. All right, so this is going to be a time for you to trust and know that regardless of what happens, when it comes to matters of the heart, there is no right or wrong. There's no formula, right? You got to go with what feels best for you. Every choice you make expands your understanding of life and love and we need to have that understanding we need to be sure right and learn from those lessons so we don't fall back into any kind of craziness yeah seven of pentacles in reverse something we can't grow or build with are you ready to get an answer to your question my dear leos let us do it in three two one all right, guys, the answer to your question today is yes. Beautiful. I hope that was the answer you needed. You guys are amazing. Never forget that. Let me know down in the comments down how this is resonating with you. Also, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, and bell notification. You guys are amazing. I love you. Have a great week ahead. I will see you soon. Bye for now.